I've come a long way to be here. This is my home now. There used to be 3,846 of us living here. Now there's over two million. But I don't live like the others anymore. I have my own room now. In original France, where I was made, I was just a part of everyday life. I held practical information for the local bishop. I was kept with all the other books. Just another book. No one would ever have thought that I'd end up here. I used to be read a lot, but valued poorly. Now I'm highly valued, but never read. I'm not sure which I prefer. In 1824, I was bought by a man in England who was mad about books. I lived here, in his house, with 59,000 others crammed in shelves. If we didn't fit in his shelving or he didn't like how we looked, we'd be rebound. Most of us had our pages trimmed and our covers replaced to look older than we were. I don't have a shelf here in Melbourne anymore. I have a vault. I can't show you, though. It's for my own safety. I don't come out of my vault often. But when I do, like today, I look at all the books on the shelves and think, which of you will last 100 years? Which of you 200? Which will end up in the vault with me? It could be any of you, and it could be none. Some will get lost, burned, damaged beyond repair, but some will plod along, surviving, until, from the millions of books produced in their time, they'll be somehow found and seen like me.